Okay, so cut these three pieces of four by four to two, two feet long each and have them laid out to make the base of the bog bridge. So I'll drop these 10 foot long planks on top. We'll do two of these side by side and just have to match up. Get these in the right position. Check it with the tape measure. Just leave a little bit of room off of each end and make it as close to even as I can. And then I'm gonna leave some room on the sides here because we're gonna drill holes down through to put rebar in to anchor the bridges into the ground. I just want to make sure that this is centered. Have these boards on, they look even. I'm gonna screw them in with these timber lock screws. They're good, used for wood decking and things like that. So these lock them in pretty well. So I'm gonna put two in on each plank for each uh, baseboard. I'm just gonna start at this end and then do the other end. holes through the bottom so that we put the rebar in and ready to go out to the preserve. Okay, we're here at Ashbridge Preserve. Uh, we're in a very wet section of trail, so we're gonna put some of our bog bridges down. Uh, so we're in the floodplain alongside Ridley Creek so this area gets 
flooded very frequently um, and the trail ends up pretty muddy. So we're gonna use the bog bridges to keep any hikers, uh, people coming through, keep their feet out of the mud. Um, so we'll show you just the process of getting these put in place. So we have the bog bridge in place, laid out where we wanna put it. So we're gonna secure it with these pieces of rebar. We're gonna hammer them through the holes that we have pre-drilled. And then we're gonna cover the top with this chicken wire to make sure that there's sure, sure footing when the boards get wet. 